Hello there, everyone, and thank you for joining us all here, the small Hearts of Iron 4 gang, which includes everyone's favorite Belgian, Taki Senpai. Say hello, Taki. That's me, hello. Everyone's favorite Scott. Say hello, Dune. Hello. That was Dune Hammer Gaming, of course. And we have also Pen Kitten from somewhere on the West Coast. Say hello, Pen. Oh. He is dead. He, Pen. <laughs> there he is. Found hello. him. Hello. I am a duck. Cool. And I'm your host. Well, I'm not really a host. I think Taki's a host, but I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, as you all know. Cool. Uh, so, this is Base Game Hoi 4, and we're using, we're all, should be using Player of the Peace Conferences for the mod, and that's it. And mm -hmm. Taki is playing as Japan, I'm playing as the Soviet Union, Pen Kitten is playing as Germany, and Dune Hammer is, of course, playing as the United Kingdom, because he loves the UK. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> that's Scott, he loves it. Cool. Brexit means Brexit. <laughs> hey, he just, yes. they just left. They just left, so. He's going to create his own faction. Idiots. <laughs> all right. Ready to just get it going? Yeah, let's, just, let's, just, let's just jump into it. Six speed. All right, here we go. I have myself plugged in finally, not using Wi-Fi, but... Oh, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> Off to a okay. great start. Let's do that. Brexit I'm interested. All right. <laughs> Historical. What? I thought I was going to want to change my name. <laughs> oh, <okay>. oh, <laughs> just disbanded the allies. Ask them to join the faction again, right? Uh, I'm not allowed to until world tension is at eighty percent. Eighty. I got you. I got you. So uh, basically, you cannot join France anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, <laughs> <Good story. laughs> Off to a great start right here. Oh. No, wait, wait, wait. No, they can still. France wants to, they can still do it. France wants to join the Allies. What well, will that make? I don't know. Super Allies. What if they make the Allies faction themselves and you just can't join it anymore? Continental Allies. <laughs> <laughs> the game just crashes. <laughs> I was also thinking of that because I'm the only person in the faction, but that's the problem. I'm the only person in the faction. Oh, yeah. I can't can... uh, reform the faction oh, if I'm Germany. Such... How yeah. can I not have the same faction with my allies? Come on. Who knows? Reasons. Because we're democratic. See, this is why democracies suck. <laughs> <laughs> Democracy was <laughs> failure. Says the policeman. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion on politics, then, policeman? <laughs> oh no, I'm not just being in this now. <clears throat> back into a corner. I can't even. You know, I've got to really watch what like I say now. Like I can't give like any like really like. Spicy no means. Spicy oh no, no yeah, more spice in there. I'm gonna be mellow. <laughs> as long as we don't know your real name or where you live or anything like that. Oh wait. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Actually, Taki knows my real name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got him on Facebook. Because our Discord didn't work. Ah. <laughs> so, so Taki knows where I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dox him. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't have a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, is it early enough? Early Watch enough. Out. He lives in Scotland. Three minutes in. Susan doesn't care anymore. Oh yeah, it's, it's past two minutes at least. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I got the thing recording. Um. You know that what the worst part is about that though. YouTube themselves also say you're not allowed to curse in the first two minutes, but after that it's totally fine. <laughs> you know it's bad. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, is it uh, YouTube? Is the uh, speed okay for everyone? Do you want to speed up before since it's just you know until January? Um, I mean, usually <coughs> it would like crash, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. oh, does it? I don't I mean, know. Like, it, it just bumps well, not down crash, down. crash, but like someone would like behind, probably me. Yeah, yeah. Since now, now I've got someone on my side of the ocean as well. Oh yeah, it's not just gonna be all. Uh, just yeah, we're. Now. I'm literally three hours away from Penn, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm nine hours away from Penn. Catching up, it's fine though. It's on four speed, so oh. it should be good. Just don't drink yeah, it. It's just going to take a while to get to the early game. Yeah. Oh, I want to get to the Great Purge. <laughs> Remember, don't kill off Rokozovsky. He's good. He's a good boy. Good. You've been doing nothing generous. wrong. Hmm. You know what? It's I'm for your time. Uh, wait, yeah. Rodzewski's. He gives you more fascist support. Wait. No, no, Rokhodov. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's the, no, the no, military guy. Rodzewski. The, 
That's a guy from TNO, isn't it? Good beans. <laughs> oh no. That just instantly made me think of that. That guy's from Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when are we playing Fortnite together? Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> I've never it's played it. It, it blows hard. Yeah, I won one game and that was it. I was like, yep, I'm done. It blows yeah, hard. Oh, God. Same here, and that was like a couple of years ago. Was, yeah, same. I literally hid as a bush. It was back when they just first <laughs> brought all that bush that you can find and hide as. So I was like, all right. Am I the boomer who's yeah. never tried it? <laughs> oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. Yeah, you're still pure here. Whoa. You're, still, you're still clean. Well, I don't know. Mm hmm. He just wants to be pure. <laughs> I just want to create my hyperborean state, man. I want to be pure. Uh, <laughs> I just want to be Aryan. Aryan or nothing. <laughs> it's nerf for nothing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're almost five minutes and around five minutes, in, so it's okay to say that stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone, bring out your spicy takes, except for Dune Hammer. Otherwise, it's gonna get from me. Yeah, I'll just. Shipped. Why would I not get rid of Khrushchev in the trial that anti-Soviet Trotsky at center? All he gives you is co more communist support. I know, he's the, he's the most pointless guy there. Yeah. Some <laughs> of the choices are really easy, Is though. the Soviet Union related to communism? Hmm. The world might have known. <laughs> Fake news. Soviet Union was never communist. <laughs> yeah, still more Turkey. Oh, 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 the no. first 70-day uh, focus is done. <laughs> oh, we got out of speed four. It seems to be going okay. Yeah, surprising though, because usually we would suffer when it was just the three of us. Yeah. Your, your moral support, uh, Pen, uh, is helping us out a lot. Yes! Yes! That's why we get, got Pen in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also plugged in, so. Whew. Man, this industry. Oh. Come on. Lots of villies. Civvies. I gotta build a massive industry. Let's see, what am I gonna go? Am I using tanks in this campaign? You probably should. It's <laughs> kind of important. Uh, mm, mm. I only have three. God dang, I've only got three research slots. Three <laughs> research slots. Yeah. Well, I only I have four, so it's not like it's the. It's not like it's that different. Yeah, same. True, but does it not? It takes a while to get to a couple of the Soviet ones, does it not? Probably. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, just gotta go down the hole of the Great Purge side of the tree. Yeah, cool network. Well, you get, you get an extra far. research slot over on the far left side. Yeah. Finish the plan, yeah. uh, arm it, and then extra research slot. So that's um, 100, uh, 210 days to get a research slot. It's a good thing <laughs> I've got a lot of bodies. Walker, your best focus to go for is definitely new Soviet man. Those kamikaze strikes are definitely going to be useful. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, actually, oh, yeah. really good though. I know they're getting getting banned in all the multiplayer sessions. So, what well, Kamikaze? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh. oh, it has something to do with the fact that they are like irrevocably bugged. Wait, so yeah, you give them a reliability, isn't it? It's just a reliability check, so you can actually get an ace from doing <clears throat> Kamikaze. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Because they just don't die. <laughs> you know what? I'll go down that way. I'll, I'll do it. Just get 70 uh, kamikaze aces. No purposefully uh, glitching the game, please, God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Just you think the Japanese kamikazes were tough? <laughs> Soviet kamikaze. Yes. They just won't die. <laughs> oh, no, they'll die. There's just too many of them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm also going to go down. Was it? Mass assault as well, I guess. Yeah. Deep I battle. Like the ass assault doctrine. Ass assault. Uh, or should I go mass mobilization? That like, just give me five percent more recruitable population. Hmm. I always go down the same one, so I, I don't know. It's pure five just, hours for me. Honestly, I just go down whichever one uh, is the first one selected. <laughs> Whichever one like fits the theme of the nation I'm playing, I don't really care too much about it. Oh, I'm like always. I always go for superior firepower. <laughs> Unless I play as Germany. Unless I play as Germany. Then you go for uh, mass assault, obviously. Yeah, obviously mass assault. Got all that manpower, you know. You got to use it. Uh, do, I don't want to get rid of Tukhachevsky. No. Do it. Do it. Uh. Rokosovsky, huh? 
Well, I'm sorry, Tukachevsky. You can lead the WRRF in, you know, TNO, but not today. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet prince. My mass assault doctrine leader, dude. Even on historical, I think Poland can still technically like has a ten percent chance to give up Danzig and Poznan, isn't there? Interesting. I, oh, it's it's a very, a very rare chance, but it does ha it can happen. Maybe yeah. yeah. Oh, Dylan, remember that uh, when the time comes, you have to actively guarantee them, Poland? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have played as historical UK before, and I forgot to do that, and they're like, oh, wait, Poland's dead now. <laughs> right, well, Poland can't get into their war. I would notice, just tell me when you're doing Danzig a war, and I'll. Okay. I'll them. Doesn't, doesn't France uh, guarantee them? And since they're in the faction, you just. Get to join anyway. That depends if the allies is even the form now. What if? What <laughs> if me and there is no allies anymore? What if me and Pen teamed up? I should I should still be able to create one with them when the time comes. So how, what if me and Pen created the unholy alliance and uh, <laughs> went around that way? And me and Pen and then we create unholy yeah, then... alliance. That'd be okay with me. <laughs> the the table. That'd be really interesting for sure. Germany fights the UK, I, I fight the what Japanese. what the world would have looked like if the uh, Allies did what they wanted to do and invaded the Soviet Union in 1940. They'd well, probably get pushed back though, right? Yeah, they, 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 the they would not have had a good time. Because yeah. the, their plan was insane. It was uh, invade Norway to then invade Sweden to technically say that they're helping Finland against the Soviets, but really they just wanted to invade Sweden. <laughs> Not bad. My planning was crazy. Not bad. Oh yeah, the only reason it didn't go through is because the Germans invaded Norway ahead of time, so they could go into Norway and say, oh, "We're helping, guys. We're helping. We're not invading you. We're helping." And then they lost in Norway anyway. Oh, I guess I have to make the king abdicate. Oops. Nah. Bye, Edward. You will be missed. Monarchs? Well, you already don't have a faction, you might as well. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's probably best to keep the allies. If you care for your life. Did okay, just in our next world tension and the allies will be back. <laughs> so you're attacking me, I guess, Taki, with a little board conflict? Yeah. God, that sucks. A oh, river crossing? Oh. This infantry, I, these infantry divisions suck. You tried a border crossing? Oh my god, he's he's crazy. He's insane. He's actually trying a border crossing. Oh, but he did, did put tanks you know? here. Yeah, he, he did put tanks here. Oh, yeah. My guys have no empty tank. Tanks in. I hate the the border clash mechanic. It just it does nothing. Yeah. Oh, it's rubbish. It's the well, most you can do. The most you can say is that it's an army experience generator. That's it. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends. If you play as the warlords in China, it's really fun though. Yeah, oh, I yeah, can see that. Yeah, make, 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 make a thick boy from just winning border conflicts. Yeah, yeah. I've actually almost managed to unite most of China just by border <laughs> conflicts at one point. <laughs> oh, well, it was going well for me. The last time I did it, but then Japan yeah. started taking land. Yeah. You steal, that didn't make any logical sense for them to take. They're just going to do it anyway. They can't, you can't yeah, stop it's like, oh, oh, it's like they took the coastline, and then I was like, okay, right, I'll just take everything that's inland, and then no, they decided to do that as well. <laughs> AIP steals. Amazing. Yeah, it's just big brain. Good thing we get inside. What's gonna be happening? Yeah. Alright, at least that's giving us okay. army XP. That's good. Joe, I was playing of my games on, like, I was live streaming the other day on Kaiser Redux. Germany managed to lose three times out of How? the five teams that How? I had. I don't know, because I was, I was playing in my Scotland one. They were the most useless I have ever seen them. <laughs> hmm. like, they have never suck so badly, and I'm like, the one time I actually join the Reichspact, and they do that, they lose. Oh, I, I, I was the one that retook Berlin from the Russians. That's how bad it got. Nice. Then, oh. I, then when they lost, I lost all my divisions. So I was like, all right, great. I won the border conflict, by the way. I am the greatest player. No oh, player. yes. Yes, good job, Jockey. You beat up a bunch of guys with rifles. <laughs> I mean, technically you're not supposed to win that one, right? That's where the Japanese got a really bloody nose. Yeah. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going very historically well right now. <laughs> We're already deviating. Oh, there we go. The parties are finished. Thank goodness. All right. I love parties. All right, let me escalate the war. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, wait, against me or them? <laughs> the Chinese? Um, Touch the cow. Do it oh. now. I guess you'll see in a bit. Hmm. Oh, no. Are we going for an early Soviet Union Japan war? What, what's happening? I'm going to be trucking to Moscow. From oh, the... yes. oh boy. As you do, as one does. Also, let's not be dummy dumbs and actually invest in tanks, unlike the real life Japanese. Tanks? Oh, that's kind of cringe, man. You don't need tanks. No. Just walk. You just posted cringe. <laughs> you know what happens next. He gets banged by daddy. No. <laughs> what? I don't know. Interesting turn there. Also, how were the Olympic Games? One. Usually the German guys. They exist, I think. They don't do anything, though. I feel like this game really needs a lot more flavor. <laughs> like paprika. For what? Like paprika. <laughs> yeah, maybe some cayenne pepper, pepper salt, you know? Maybe a little bit of uh, garlic, a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit of uh, ultranationalism, Burgundian systems, uh, something like that. Yes. Mm, yes, of course. Well, it's bad though, right? That mods are way more interesting that, than the actual game. Uh, well, if you yeah. just look at, like, the team size for the mods, they're, like, several times larger than the development team of the actual game. Really? Damn. Yeah, the, the base, know. the game only has 12 uh, developers, and that's pretty normal huh. in the industry because, you know, you have to pay them. Oh, darn it, you have to pay them? What? <laughs> yeah. Like, only 12? I'm really shocked by that. Yeah, yeah. because that's, like, uh, there's, like, um, two content designers uh, and... And then also the main developer, who's also kind of a content designer, mm -hmm. programmers, uh, art directors, um, testers, like Deninal. I know he's supposed to pronounce it Daniel, but I always call it Deninal. Yeah. Uh, he's also a YouTuber as well, right? Yeah, he is. Uh, a lot of YouTube content. Oh, yeah. Huh. That's really interesting. Like, you rarely see developers also the YouTubers for their own games. You see it a lot with Paradox, actually. Yeah, hmm. uh, I remember back um, in EU4, the like head developer he was originally a YouTuber for EU4, yeah. became a developer, and sat down again to become a streamer. Because that's how you do, baby! <laughs> it's because he kept exploiting the game into oblivion. <laughs> hmm. 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 Also, why is the Prince of Menguko so ugly? Just watch the man die. He's so. Look at him. Menguko? Yeah, the, the the green Menchuko. Oh, the the the, the B tag version. <laughs> Better Menchuko. Mom says we have Menchuko at home, honey. Menchuko That's at home. What she means. You don't like the prince? Dem so chug dong grub. <laughs> Yes, you know, you better watch out there, Taki. Oh, why? Am I gonna get cancelled? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what did I do this time? This is in Turkey. No. <laughs> oh, I forgot the British start on the fucking uh, Grand Battle Plan Doctrine. The oh, best right. Battle Plan Doctrine. <laughs> Don't you love trenches, boys? Yeah. Get your shovels out. <laughs> It's time to dig a hole, boys. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Oh god. Well, that's, that's the mods that's supposed to be getting an update soon. The Great War Redux. Oh, oh nice. Because oh. um, the, one, of the, one of the developers was in my stream the other day. He's like, oh yeah, there's new stuff coming to that soon. I was like, oh, cool. I won't be able to play it. <laughs> but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> yeah, thanks. For, thanks Great for War me. Redux, huh? Hmm. 
What about the Just Okay War? What about that just, one? No one's modded the Korean War? What's wrong with people? Yeah. <laughs> I want Nobody's modded Korea, please. Spanish American War? Nobody's modded in the uh, Peruvian Ecuadorian War of 1940. I forget if it was 1940 or 1941. That's how much we love South America. <laughs> they were really big players in the war, okay? They it did is. their best. Brazil sent a whole division. It's very important. <laughs> what, a whole, a single whole division? A whole oh, division, yeah. wow. And they actually got their nickname, because the nickname of the expeditionary force of Brazil was called the Smoking Snakes. Because, <laughs> oh, that's cool. they, um, because they thought like the chance of actually seeing any action, oh wow, well, it's an early war, yeah. uh, was basically the same as just seeing a snake start smoking next to you. <laughs> some, some weird <laughs> analogy like that. Of nice. course, of course. They're like, we don't see any action. And then eventually they got sent into Italy and they did a pretty good job there. Oh. Yeah, it is kind of funny, though. Like, the whole of South America d declared war on Germany, but they never really g had a chance to do anything about it. It was like, they we don't have expeditionary wanted, forces. They wanted to feel included. That, that's what yeah. happened. And then by the late war, like, you had to declare war on Germany if you wanted to be a part of the new um, UN, United Nations. Oh. Hmm. Did you yeah. Sure did. Like that's why Turkey declared war on Germany, even though they signed a non-aggression pact with Germany. Those backstabbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not going to do anything about it. They, they didn't intend. They didn't intend to do anything. They just wanted to be included. <laughs> I love army XP. So do I. It's so nice. Love the smell of army XP in the morning. Let's see. It's literally the morning here. It's it's ten thirty. Uh, it's it's evening over in here. Yeah, I'll yeah. be getting ready for my bed in a couple It's hours. one thirty. Clearly, America is superior. It's the morning. Yes. And it's noon where Mocha is. Yes. I don't know if it's superior. We're we're ahead of you guys all the time. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be three Jan the third of January soon. <laughs> you know, it's only the second of January over in there. That's so cringe. This is so sad. <laughs> Big sadness. Imagine living in the in the second of January. This post was brought to you by a uh, Europe gang. Third of January gang. I think the only thing we need to complete this group is someone who lives in like Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone who's. Uh, where would they be? Would they be? Would they be in yesterday? I don't know. Uh, what about they? Are they still in the first, or are they ahead of us even farther? I think they're are ahead they of us. Are they almost in the fourth? Yeah, the land of the rising sun, maybe. Where's the land? The what islands? Like Hawaii is behind everybody or ahead of everybody? They're behind. I think everybody. they're. I think uh, they're just behind. I think they're near the the zone of the international medium. Yeah, yeah. it's um, it's three a.m. in the morning in Tokyo, Japan. Mm -hmm. Uh, in tomorrow or. Third of January, probably. Right? Uh, third of January, January game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just gotta look at the, at a, a regular world map, I think, right? To see um, yeah. who starts early and who starts late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I oh, know. Just turn on the uh, just turn on the daylight loop, obviously mm -hmm. in game, and ch <laughs> check it <laughs> out. Just check that out. <laughs> Does anyone ever use that though? Oh, I no. Know. If you go at a high speed, it just well at speed five they automatically turn it off, but it. Other oh, speeds, it like it just hurts. You just, just get hurts. FLFC instead. Yeah, this stream and deep down in my soul. Let's get on. I wanna go. Actually, having to pick steady as she goes. Oh, this is so sad. Such a sad day. Stanley's sticking around, and it'll be. Missed our piece in our time next. Oh, I Loka, love what are you even doing in Spain? Like, I don't see where your troops are. I, I, I just sent all Mountaineers grind out army XP. They are in oh, the nice. east, so. Oh, damn. I would try to attack you, but I don't have any anti tank. XP. What? What's up? I have no anti tank, so there's no point for me to even try to attack Penn's divisions. Yeah, but they're light tanks. The early Panzer divisions are not very good. They have nine armor. But my piercing is two. <laughs> <laughs> my piercing's four in my infantry divisions. Mm. 
Mine's 4.5. <laughs> I didn't know we were going to have a piercing competition between our boys here. That's <laughs> mine, even. Piercing measuring competition. Four. We're speed two. Huh. Yeah, that was doing, we couldn't follow for a little bit. I'll, I'll bump it back up to three. We were doing uh, stuff fine until all of a sudden it was all gone. It was all gone. You know what I really dislike? So, in the initial German Navy, there's these two ships that are unique. They're the only nation that gets them. They're pre jednaught battleships, and mm. they're just absolutely terrible, but they look like they're battleships. I so don't even notice how, how bad they are unless you know about it. You need oh, carriers. Wow. <laughs> unless you actually know what a pre dreadnought is, and then you like look at the stats and you go, oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is garbage. Nice. This, this is worthless. This is... It's less than worthless. It takes oil. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's kind of nice. Unique, but they're absolutely useless. What's the point? Yeah, there's actually a unique ship that's kind of interesting. That yeah, Germany gets two unique ships for some reason. The other ones at the Panzerschiffs, and they're they're just uh, heavy cruisers, but they get for the main battery a battleship's cannon, and they have uh, the longest range of any ship in the game. Hmm. At seven thousand five hundred kilometers. Oh, that's Damn. that's a lot of range. Yeah, and they and they start off with two of them and one being built, and you can uh, scale them basically forever. The whole you know, like the HP will go up with uh, cruiser armor, and the gun will go up with heavy guns. So you can just keep building them. You don't need. They're really good for like a rating for like a long range rating uh, thing. Nice. Because you can get them so far away, it's farther than anyone can really like hope to bring anything. To I see what you're doing, Taki. The Chinese are just like, "Wow, well, we have to guard water." I'm stressing out that I gotta build up so many different things. Wait, did I land? Oh. Yeah, the, I, I'm. I'm watching it. Nothing's going on down there. Hmm. Oh yeah, I made a couple landing, Fuzhou, and the one that doesn't have a name. Just, just, just don't lose to them, Taki. It could be a bit. No, no oh. problem. I actually, I only failed one. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. You landed in Qingdao. Oh no, I've not been paying attention. So, uh, to the gateway to Europe. So Penn's kind of taking a little bit of lead on that now. Oops. Oh no. Yeah, we can have <clears> seconds. I just go and check that out. Yeah, stay as you go, Stanley Baldwin. <laughs> it's fine. I still intend to just kill them, but you know, have fun. That's just it's a... just. Happy 1937! Yay! Happy New Year! How do I have this many? I don't have that many tanks. Oh, those are just in the field. Needed for upgrades, huh? Oh, can I the vision finish up? Exercising, please. All my days, I forgot I can make camel divisions as the UK. Oh, yes. <laughs> the most important, important divisions. Important. I love how like the UK and France get them like straight off the bat, but Turkey, Turkey has to do a focus to get them. Oh yeah, it, I'm sure it has something to do with the way that they coded them. And like, oh, you own Palestine, therefore you get some camels. Oh, you own Syria, they, you get some camels. Everyone gets camels. But then Turkey's like, you don't have Syria, you just have Kurdistan. That's not good enough. You don't get the camels. <laughs> Wait, has Tur has Turkey always had? A war against Japan at the end of their, like, Restore the Ottoman Empire route. What? Wait, what? Yeah, go go, go and look at Turkey, bottom left. Where has... They did not... Realize the Nightmare of Meiji. I can't read it, but... Hmm. War going against Japan. I, I don't what know. The Nightmare of... The Meiji Restoration? I don't know. I know that the... Uh, that the uh, late Ottomans were, like, really expansionist. They had, like... 10 rolls all the way down to what is now the Dutch, in this time the Dutch East Indies, but I don't I don't know <laughs> what the what the fear is there. Like, did they think that the Ottomans were going to attack Japan? Is this EU four? This is very historical, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's neat. The the Portuguese are helping out uh, Spain. Huh. About time I finally got this. Uh, Surround over here. It feels so much slower because I usually just speed five all the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I don't play on any speed lower than speed five, usually. Yeah. <laughs> Especially during wars, yeah, right? Content, you know? Get the wars, the action. Get to the fun part. It's a good thing I got a lot of steel. That was a bust. A bust. Oops. Mm -hmm. Is everyone at war actually? Well, I'm just helping in a war, so I'm not oh, at war. Oh, yeah. Same. Everyone's kind of stressing out a little bit. No, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Everything around. All I've really done right now is just, I've just told Bulgaria to bugger off with their, their threats of, we need to get rid of these army restrictions, so they've still got that. Guys, I need my army restrictions. <laughs> so, yeah, stuff, stuff there. What's France doing? Hanging oh, out. France, France is doing by time, which means they are either going to do France leads or go with Britain. Oh god, imagine if the, the, the AI uh, ratifies the stress up front. I don't think that would be uh, very awkward. That would be me. very awkward. There goes the Italians. Them's the Italians, son. Oop. Research log. What? Research log? Yeah, number five. Research log. Hmm. <laughs> Shame I can't send any volunteers to China. What? As a democracy, you can't send volunteers. Can I just be like a chat, like just pretend I'm a democracy, but really we're like something else? Authoritarian democracy. Yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> You can choose, as long as you choose exactly what we tell you to. <laughs> I love choice. <laughs> I love the illusion of choice. It's my favorite part. <laughs> wow. National Spain has quite a few allies, or, you know, volunteers. Italy, Germany, of course, Portugal, like you said. Yeah, everyone's just chilling in there. It's like Spain's a battleground or something. Yeah. I mean, isn't that what won them? Player unknown. Won? Spain battleground. <laughs> All right, boys, where are we dropping? Uh, I, I'll go to Mallorca. Drop in Madrid. I'm going to Mallorca. You guys go kill each other. <laughs> Oh, yes. France wanted me to not uh, intervene in the Spanish Civil War while I was already intervening. We promise we won't <laughs> intervene. i in intervening. Oops, so well. Wait there. No more intervention. We promise. Starting today. Starting in 1938. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let me try and go up to speed four. Oh, Just yeah. in case. Maybe I'll yeah. look at them. That's yeah, okay with me. That is okay. Oh! oh. The oh. anarchists! There they come. Oh wow, they, they had a great spawn. They look very nice. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. I mean... They are supposed to be the uh, Regional Defense Council of Aragon, and that's exactly where they showed up. They don't even have all of Aragon. Yep. Just a piece. Can I please break off a chunk of that Aragon? But they're not even moving. Well, some of them are, I guess. Some of them aren't. It takes time.
Chat, I literally have nothing interesting down the home defense route on my tree. <laughs> As Benelux intervention, Scandinavian intervention, they're not gonna get enough fascist or communist support for me to invade them. Yeah. No. No. I always found those kind of funny because um, they're always like taken in the very late game. Yeah. Whatever I'm playing, just like normally. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Uh, Soviet Union never change you got so many great ministers well, some of them are okay but I mm. can't believe the UK doesn't have a uh, captain ministry like mm. the one advisor I would have liked Man, I haven't even been able to push in a single tile. I'm just sitting here, watching them dial uh, while they run into me. <laughs> I mean, that works, but uh, it is China, so they kind of have infinite manpower. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly the equipment that just gets destroyed. Because yeah. they're not full power anymore. Full power? Full power. Full Fast. power, Dan? Full power China! <laughs> Fully operational Republic of China. Is that... Hmm. Hey, Mocha, where are your divisions in Spain? Uh, they're going to Valencia. Hmm. Yeah, you must have got them out. Well, or I might have just deleted them because they wouldn't die anyways. <laughs> Hmm, German Soviet Treaty. Hmm. I like this idea. Mm -hmm. Yay. Let's be honest, you'd be stupid to refuse that. Because that sci <laughs> science defect in it is just. Ooh. A hella no no. <laughs> so. Oh. Huh. I wish I could, like, queue up things in the intelligence agency. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. forget about them. Cause not, it's not the same as um, research where you get like a pop up whenever it's you know. Yeah. It's really annoying. You you get a pop up, but then it's not like pick your next one. It's mm -hmm. just. It's here, the same you did a thing. pop up. Yeah, it's the same annoying pop up where where you get an event that you don't care about. Yeah. Oh, the Olympics are done. Yay. Right. So how's China? Um, same as before. Oh, okay. <laughs> just sitting here watching them grind up against me because they just don't stop. Sounds very Chinesey. Don't stop, not stopping. Wait, Mokit, what? You're gonna invade Iran? What? What? <laughs> what? Oh. Justifying okay. against Iran. Hmm. Iran. Fake news. Fake news, you know. What did they ever do to you? Exist. <laughs> oh, see, I think they got that oil. <laughs> Not a lot to see, exist. Yeah, I, see, every time Why do you care about their oil when you have Baku? Shh. <laughs> More oil. Moral. All right, I'm gonna mute myself for a second because there's a train out there. That's not how you mute. Choo -choo. Choo -choo. No, Stanley, why have you left us? Rip Stanley. Stanley. 
Oh, the Spanish AI is so stupid. <laughs> what else is new? Oh, I love it. Don't you mean just AI from so stupid? Oh, yeah. They're not really known for their intelligence. Big smarts. I think I see this. Seen the Fortnite little thing there. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, guys, when are we at? actually gonna like end this episode as well that's 40 minutes i know i know i just ready i always i always just wait you know i like making longer videos but you know whatever good for the algorithm <laughs> yeah so i'll pause it who's turn it well was... since i started i might as well end it right cool yeah. So, well, everyone, hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, obviously, we're all doing different mixed things. So, I would ask all of you who are watching, please consider looking at all the videos. Maybe subscribing to everyone if you haven't already. Uh, like the videos as well. Uh, check out our dis or, you know, Discord links if it is in the description below. And I guess we'll see you all tomorrow when the world's going to collapse a little bit more. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.